In this video, we are checking out a Terraria mod that is literally made by one of the developers of the game. The mod as in cool events and sick bosses. So let's hop in game and check it out. We're here today checking out a very special mod. A mod literally made by one of the developers of Terraria. Made by none other than Grox the Great. The g Realm mod is an OG T mod loader mod. Even before that, I think it was in the TAPI slash T config era. And it's just a pure quality content mod. Another mod that you would throw into a giant mod pack and have fun with yeah we're gonna check it out today we're hopping straight into it we're going straight to the uh bosses and events that are in this mod starting with the horde now the horde is a little event that spawns in a bunch of zombies and i think it's a great idea for a event in terraria because it makes sense Terraria has a lot of zombie themes slash undead enemies, so why not have a whole event themed after it, right? So let us bring in this horde. Boom. There's a pre-hard mode version and there's a hard mode version, kind of like the old one's army, which I do like. But let's peep some of the enemies we got. So far, we got a bunch of zombies. We have a literal beekeeper zombie. What else we got? We got bowman zombie, crude caster, corrupt caster. So it's not just pure zombies. It's the whole theme of the undead. Any other freaky monsters want to show up? 180. That's expert mode. 180 kills you got to do so it is a pretty lengthy event as you can see here we got floaty zombies uh we even got vikings that are showing up but i think let's hop into the uh the hard mode version now just to fully see even more monsters all right so the hard mode version damn 585 zombies and as you can see we got dudes literally riding around on eyeballs who are these bone paladins dudes with swords hey the spore zombie showing up this is low key like my favorite zombie design is this spore zombie right here this dude is sick. <laughs> Too bad you never see him. Who else we got? Wasp Whisper? We got some nasty ones. This dude is spamming though. This Frozen Mage? Now, I believe there is a mini boss in all of this. So I actually should pull out like a, a Terrarian or something. Just to start doing some damage and see if we can see the mini boss. Oh, there it is. Undeadipede, which is a centipede of undead zombie parts. Kind of interesting, very interesting. You can see why they're part of the developer crew, because that boy Grox, he got some creativity in him. Besides the undeadipede though, hold on, actually, let me kill it real quick. Let's see what happens. Oh, it actually splits just like the eater. Okay, a little bit more terrifying. But besides the undeadipede, there is some more tougher enemies in this, which I do want to see. Hold on, let me get rid of that dude that's spamming. Who the hell is this? Bone Blaster? That dude just pulled up with a gun. He's not no damn zombie. Music is bumping. I don't know if this is custom music or if it's from a game, but it is bumping. But let's see. We got Hollow Husk, Gun Dead, more dudes with guns, Gardener. Oh my god. You got little like Planteras and stuff. Icor Mage. There's a lot of cool undead enemies here. We got Crawler Zombies. Just look at this. Tons of undead zombie variants, which is awesome. And then look at this. Zombinator. Terminator Zombie. Look at him. He's sick looking. That boy's swole. He got the jets on his feet. Sick. Yeah, just legit a bunch of zombies. I think we even got, look at this. Are these like lunar event ones too? Like solar pillar and all that? So many to see though. I think this might be like my favorite themed Terraria event. Cause it's just, it's so simple, but it makes so much sense, right? We even got some, I think some of these might be collab stuff. Hold up, barbarian? Oh, I think the barbarian, he might be the pre-hard mode mini boss. Just a giant zombie. Oh my God, that boy moving. Yeah, look at this. We got some collab stuff. I think this is calamity collab stuff bumble burb rider kind of sick i mess with bumble burb but yeah moving on from these events let's start getting into some of the bosses now this mod only has a couple of bosses but they're very unique and i believe they're both jungle themed this first one we need a little item called jungle bait here we go and now this boss i think is a really cool idea let's bring it in it's full of vine and as you can see it's like a smaller quicker plantera i always considered full of vine as like plantera's little brother and i always thought it was so cool that this mod added in something like this music is bumping he got his moves hold up i saw something can you hit him in like different areas yeah look at that it says like full of vines maw and then full of vine itself so let's do some damage it's starting to spawn seedlings on us 
It's got the little boomerang projectiles and then the other little projectiles are shooting out right there. But I like this. This honestly might be way cooler than the Plantera fight just because I like how jittery and it moves way more than Plantera. And Plantera is one of my favorite bosses just because I liked how it like uses the environment to move around. Like it has to grapple onto the wall to move around. I always thought that was sick, but look at that. Phase two, we break off the little flowers on it. What do you got for us? More boomerang attacks, a little bit more jittery. Oh, he kind of moving on me now. He's kind of moving. Yeah, this little like speed up he does, a little dangerous if you don't got a lot of area to move around. So you gotta have a decent arena, just like when you fight Plantera. Always need a decent arena, but I guess you don't have to worry about Plantera's balls bouncing around. But there you go, full of vine, dead. Cool little boss, I like it. Look at this, the jungle rustles ominously. After we killed the Moon Lord, yes sir, we got a post Moon Lord boss. I know Relogic probably does not plan to add a post Moon Lord boss ever, but Grox has done it themselves. So maybe in the future, Grox can convince them if they keep on updating Terraria, who knows? Or maybe we even see this boss in a potential Terraria sequel if that ever happens. But it is the Manted Matriarch post Moon Lord jungle boss oh my god this boss looks so sick that is my favorite thing about this boss is the visuals it's a giant mantis it's so sick looking the sprites are cool the theme the palette everything i always think that terraria bosses as giant bugs like any giant bug boss just fits into the game i don't know why <laughs> is there any other giant bugs as a queen bee that's about it or that's all i can think of right now but the queen bee fits perfectly into terraria <laughs> Same thing with like summons. I think summons that are like bug theme are perfect because it just makes so much sense. Like summoning a bunch of bees makes sense. Summoning a bunch of spiders makes sense. But let's start doing some damage. This might be a hard boss fight just because it's post moon lord. So she's gonna take a hit. Even her little babies here are taking a hit. I don't wanna use the Toman manipulation though because that thing hurts. I gotta like click on her for like a second. She's got these little homing projectiles. She got contact damage. She's got a little speed moving around a little bit. Hold up. She's got different babies, look. These ones are kind of like swooping around. Meanwhile, these ones are a little bit slower, but they're warriors, so I'm assuming they hit harder. So that's kind of cool. She got she got a couple of different variants on the babies, and it looks like she keeps on spawning them. Hold on, let's see. If I kill all of them, does she just replace them immediately? Yeah, it looks like that's the case. So you kind of just got to deal with them. Reminds me of like a soul boss that spawns in enemies while you're fighting. Oh, we did more damage, and now look at that. She has like a shield healers. Is she actually healing? Oh my god. <laughs> She's healing like a lot. So we gotta take out these healers quick. Music is bumping though, but I think we've seen enough of the Manted Matriarch. Let's get her out of here, including the babies. Get them out of here too. But yeah, that is a dope boss. I like all the bosses in this mod. They're very, very cool themes, and I like that they're all jungle-themed ones, or ones that you gotta fight in the jungle, because the jungle could always use some more content. Well, actually, I don't know, because they kind of have two bosses. But whatever, I'm fine with more content. Hey, you want to see something funny? Look at this. Why is this tree over here? <laughs> Why did this tree generate over here? A jungle tree just chilling in the middle of the snow biome, and there's nothing really crazy in it besides seaweed, I guess, which kind of rare but that's terraria generation in a nutshell quickly let's check out some of these uh, enemies in town npcs there is a decent amount of collab content with some other mods like calamity ancient's awaken maybe thorium but the big one is the uh bumble burb rider from thorium i've or from calamity i think this is legit a boss other things though what other crazy things are there in here i want to talk to the town npcs oh yeah look there's a bunch of golems in this mod which is really sick i love me some golems they're a little stiff though but i can kind of understand because they are golems we got these dude mushroom people more mushroom people you might recognize this guy from a uh, playthrough. I think he was like the thumbnail of the first episode of that one playthrough. But he's pretty sick looking. Maybe I'll make him the thumbnail again. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, the town NPCs. We have a bug catcher, a horde zombie, and a miner. Miner, that one's pretty... Uh, self-explanatory sells mining goods the horde zombie sells goods from the zombies that you get so there's a bunch of items from there and then the bug dude sells some very interesting stuff like look at this butterfly post it attracts butterflies during the day so i'm assuming this makes butterfly spawn rate just way higher and then he also has one he sells for nighttime that attracts lightning bugs and stuff but yeah pretty, pretty cool pretty interesting npcs to say the least i guess now let's check out some weapons what is this cause mini stuff i don't know where i pick that up from but let's check it out oh shoot i'm bringing in my own little lunar enemies here and they all look like mini cthulhu's i think they all got like little tentacles on their face our right, boys do some work 
Beat the hell out of this king slime for me. Damn, they tossing the slimes around. They got some knockback on them. Let's grab some random weapons here. Oh yeah, this model also got these cool accessories that are like turtle shells. Look at this. <laughs> this was one of my favorite accessories. This one puts a little flower on her back. We got this one. We legit just turned into like a Koopa from Super Mario. But yeah, the weapons. I pulled up the uh, wiki here. I'm just going to pull out random weapons. Again, this is 1.3 weaponry, so I honestly do not expect craziness. Sigma Blade. Sounds interesting. What do we got? This is a big ass sword. What the heck? That sword got some length to it. I ain't going to lie to you. And I'm not trying to be sus. We got Warlock Sunrise. Item may not function correctly without furniture food fun enabled. Oh, look at that. Even more mod collabs. You love to see that. A Terraria current developer was collabing with all kinds of other modders. Love to see it. Maybe we get some modded Terraria content in the base game during one of these updates. You guys ever see those uh, Binding of Isaac DLCs where it was like little jumbo packs or I don't even remember what they're called. They're called like packs, something packs. And they would add in like the most popular mod ideas. And I always thought that was one of the coolest, thing about, coolest things about the Binding of Isaac was them doing that. Because they really encouraged mod development and very high quality mod development because you would have a possible chance to make it into the base game. We got Storm of the Four Sands. Okay, so a nice little boomerang here. Phases through tiles. That's always low key insanely strong when something goes through walls. But in terms of attacks, it's a little bit, you know, same old, same old, nothing crazy. You guys wanna see something crazy? The OG flails. Who remembers the OG flails? Wait, hold up. This one kind of cool. <laughs> It's like a flail and then three other flails connected to it. I do kind of miss the OG flails, but the new ones are so much better that like at the same time, I, I don't miss them. But I did like when flails literally just flailed around. It seems so impractical. Now they're too good. Okay, we're gonna use a gun that looks very funny. It's called Economic Crash. Oh my God, it uses my money. I just know that. <laughs> now I understand the name. Wow, look at that. There's actually like a really good animation for it. Legit like cylinders spinning and everything. We have the Cosmos Cannon. This sounds like it uses stars. So that's what I'm going to assume. I'm right. Nice. So it's just a stronger star cannon which we kind of have now in Vanilla Terraria. We got a flamethrower. Let's peep the flamethrower. Hold up, requires one of both to fire. So I need wood and I need gel. Very interesting. Oh, okay. So it's sort of like a shotgun flamethrower. Flamethrowers are low key like the greatest weapons in Terraria. I'm not just talking about vanilla, I'm talking about modded Terraria. Cause modded Terraria flamethrowers are usually always good. We got Tropicuda. Ooh. <laughs> Daedalus Stormbow barracuda weapon we have the spectral claw okay so it's kind of like the that one vine weapon or whatever the hell it's called not bad not bad this one sounds sweet pixie artillery come on it's got to be great oh man we're literally just shooting pixies okay and then i like that they actually make noises when they hit something do they home in let's see okay they do home in so low key kind of like a summit weapon and then let's take out a stronger weapon here manted tome tome of the manted what do you got for us oh so it's the, it's the little sides that the boss is using herself. Is this boss in rage right now? Why, why is he moving like that? Moving kind of fast. And now we get to the summons, which I'm interested to see because I feel like no matter what, summons should be pretty interesting. Like, what are these? Are these like projectile summons? They are. Weapon orb or a whip orb. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what type of version of Terrigan as long as summoner exists period i feel like you can't really miss on summoner stuff because it's very easy you just spawn in something that's cool and it attacks stuff that's all you gotta do for summon items hey speak about bug summons look at this this is a temporary bug summon though it's not like i have actual summons right because they they go away i think after they attack or do i have actual summons i don't know no they stay is what it looks like and then of course there is also sentry weapons like the deanimator setup kit what is that i don't know what that is <laughs> what kind of crazy weapon do we have here oh it's just straight up a laser pretty good hey my mantis is one away and of course we cannot forget that we're playing terraria 1.3 so of course there's the wrong weapons <laughs> back before relogic tried to hide their bastard son known as throng instead of embracing their bastard son they said ew 
get that thing out of here. But Grox embraced it. But yeah, that was the G Realm mod made by literally a Terraria developer, which is very cool. Again, it's one of my favorite looking mods visually from back in the day. And I definitely enjoyed having it in a couple of those older mod packs that I did. Because having that little post moon lord mantis boss is always sick. Can't go wrong with post moon lord bosses. There's a bunch of other little things that are in here that are really cool, like these Grovite pylons, which uh kind of like a turret. It electrocutes any foes in its area when it's triggered. So that's pretty sick. And and then there's a bunch of other little fun things you can mess around with developer die just a bunch of cool stuff will we see this mod ever make a return in the future probably not dude's literally a part of the uh dev team so who the hell knows why is there a dungeon guardian spawner what the heck <laughs> he's a part of the terry developer team dreams come true hopefully so we probably won't even see this mod ever update what the heck <laughs> It just destroyed my beautiful thing that I made. What is this? What did I just use? House in a can spawns a small home. A small home? What the hell? That's gotta be like an inside joke. Cause I was actually expecting like a boxinator house, you know, a little tiny box, but absolutely not. But yeah, that was another video checking out older Terraria mods. Leave comments on mods you wanna see. Again, I recommend you play this show. Shout out to everyone that worked on it. I literally put a screenshot right here. But there is a lot of names I recognize, a lot of names that are very important to Terraria and its modding community. Like I legit recognize 90% of these names and I've interacted with a good majority of them too. But yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video.